Hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area on this T-shirt Thursday. T-shirt Thursday. I have on a shirt today that says, get over it. And I wore that because I am sick and I'm trying to get over it. So I thought this was the perfect T-shirt. Get over it. <laughs> wow. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5 p.m. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area live at 5 o'clock p.m. Live at 5. Yes. Thank you guys for being here. Please don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to hit the share button. Don't forget to go on over to YouTube and smash up that subscribe button for me and punch the notification bell. So you can be the first to be notified every time I put a new video up there, which is daily, Monday through Friday. Unless, of course, something happens and I can't do it. But I would always, I always make it up. So today's book on this T-shirt Thursday, The Dog Who Cried Wolf. The Dog Who Cried Wolf. This is written and illustrated by Kiko Kaza. Kiko Kaza. Being bad has never been so good. The Dog Who Cried Wolf. Look at the first page. How cute is that? <clears throat> Moko. Mocha had a good dog. <clears throat> he and Michelle loved to be together. Life was perfect until one day she read a book about wolves. Look, Mocha, said Michelle, you're kind of like a wolf. Wow, thought Mocha. I am got <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, kind of like a wolf. But look how amazing wolves are. They run around free, hunt wild animals, and stay up late to howl at the moon. And look at the way I live, Mocha sighed. I'm nothing but a house pet. He felt like a failure, especially when Michelle made him dress up for her tea parties. He wanted to be a wolf. The next day, <coughs> Mocha made up his mind. He snuck out of the house and took off for the mountains. He ran and ran and ran. Until finally he reached a high mountain top. I'm free, he yelped, free as a wolf. He ran. He jumped, he danced, and he peered, peed wherever he wanted. Wow, he exclaimed, exclaimed, the world is mine. <laughs> Soon Mocha got hungry. No problem, he cried. I'll hunt for my food just like the wolves do. And off he went. But a rabbit outran him, a skunk sprayed him, <laughs> a beetle pinched him, <laughs> and even a field mouse made fun of him. <laughs> wow. By nightfall, Mocha was miserable. He missed Michelle. I even miss her tea parties, he mumbled. But I can't give up yet. There's just one more thing I have to try. He gazed at the golden moon and howled as loudly as he could. How? Just like a wolf. Suddenly, something howled back. How, how, and and then again, how? Mocha froze. Wolves, he cried, like real wolves. Wow. 
growl. He turned and raced down the mountains. I want to go home, he panted. I never want to be a wolf again. He ran and ran and ran. <laughs> until finally he reached the house <coughs> he knew so well. <coughs> Mocha, Michelle shouted as she dashed out to meet him. Oh, He made it home. Oh, look at that. She had a missing dogs, missing dog poster on her mailbox. How cute is that? You're back. He said, you're back. Aw, how cute is that? Mocha was home again, and he and Michelle were oh so happy. Life was just perfect until one day she read a book about monkeys. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> the end. <clears throat> the end. Oh, how cute was this little story? The dog who cried wolf. Wow. Well, thank you for being here, Leo Carlos. Thank you so much to my mom, Bev. Her name is Beverly for being here. Shout out to my cousin Patsy and her darling babies, Destiny, Darla, Delilah, Deanna, and DJ. Uh, thank you so much for to Elid, Sheena G, and Victoria for sharing my videos. And if you guys don't mind, just go ahead and share it on your page. So more people, more kids, more nephews, grandkids, everybody can get to hear me read. And try to encourage them to pull out a book sometime and read. So once again, just don't forget, go on over to YouTube, to Audrey's Reading Area. Smash that subscribe button for me. Yes. Punch that notification bell. You'll be the first to know every time I put up a new video. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I will see you soon. How about tomorrow? That'd be live. L-I-V-E. Live at five tomorrow. And I will see you soon. <laughs>